Hey guys, how's it going? TJ here with Dead History, and I'm here again with my son Henry. Hi. And today is the next installment of our presidential series, and we're taking a look at who, Henry? Franklin Pierce, the 14th president of the United States. That's right, very good. Franklin Pierce, the 14th president of the United States, the guy behind us, the only president that was actually from the state of New Hampshire, the New Granite Hampshire. State. Yeah, huh. pretty cool stuff. So, but first, before we get into the 14th president of the United States, Franklin Pierce, what do they have to do, Henry? Hit subscribe down below, leave all your comments and questions, and hit that little bell. That's right, great job. Leave all your comments and questions down below. We love the comments and questions. Make sure you hit subscribe, give us a like and thumbs up. And like Henry said, hit that little bell, that notification bell, because then you can be notified when we release a new video, which just happens to be what? Every single week. Every single week. That's right. Good job. So now sit back and relax and enjoy the next installment of our presidential series looking at our 14th president, Franklin Pierce. And this is... Dead History. Dead History. Hey guys, back with you, TJ here with Dead History, along with Henry. Hi. And behind us, yep, that is the 14th president of the United States. Who is that, Henry? Franklin Pierce. Franklin Pierce, very good. And some cool things about Franklin Pierce, actually. Unfortunately, sad things about Franklin Pierce, Franklin Pierce had three children that all died at very young ages, and his last surviving son actually was killed in a very, very tragic train accident right in Andover, Massachusetts. Wow. We're going to get to all that. I'm actually going to show you the location of that, believe it or not. Also, Franklin Pierce, he was the first president to actually ever promise his oath of office instead of swearing it at his, at his inauguration. Pretty interesting stuff. He also was the first president to memorize his entire inauguration uh, address and speech. What? Yeah, first one ever. He, he was a pretty smart guy, actually. What? And... Very cool little fact, especially for the kids. He was the very first president to put up a Christmas tree at the White House. What? Yeah, was some pretty cool stuff. We're going to get into all that. We're going to show you where he lived. We're going to show you where he died. We're going to show you, of course, his grave site in New Hampshire. Wow. All sorts of fascinating stuff. And like I said, that location of where his son, Benny Pierce, tragically died in that train accident. Not many people have really ever uh, explored and discovered where the site is. But we do, and I go there, and you're going to see it. So sit back and enjoy the next portion of our presidential series, looking at the 14th president of the United States, the man behind us, Franklin Pierce. Enjoy. Hey, guys. Welcome. And this is our next installment of our presidential series. TJ with Dead History here, here with my son, Henry. Hi. And we're looking at our 14th president of the United States. Who's that, Henry? Franklin Pierce. That's right, Franklin Pierce. And we're going to jump right in here. So uh, Franklin Pierce, he was actually born on November 23rd of 1804 in Hillsborough, New Hampshire. Uh, he was born in a log cabin. His father, Benjamin Pierce, actually became quite successful. First, his father fought in the Revolutionary War, and then later he moved into politics, where he eventually became the governor of New Hampshire. Um, Benjamin Pierce actually was, it was General Benjamin Pierce to be exact. He was known by Washington, uh, George Washington, and he was also good friends with Andrew Jackson. So uh, pretty, pretty, pretty interesting stuff there. Uh, Pierce was kind of known as like uh, the boy who had everything. You know, he had a, a f famous general father who was, uh, you know, obviously a hero in the Revolutionary War, and he was governor of New Hampshire. Um, and it was a lifelong dream of Franklin Pierce to become president. He, he really wanted this to happen. Um, so kind of interesting stuff there. Uh, Franklin Pierce, he actually attended a Bowdoin or Bowdoin College in Maine. Uh, there he met and he became friends with writers Nathaniel Hawthorne and Henry Wadsworth Longfellow. He struggled with school at first, actually, Pierce did, but he worked hard and he ended up graduating near the top of his class. And after graduating, Franklin uh, Pierce studied law. 
uh, and he eventually passed the bar and he became a lawyer in 1827. So uh, pretty interesting stuff there. Uh, his childhood, you know, like I said, he, he wasn't born really in a poverty. Um, he, his father, Benjamin Pierce, like I said, he was later elected to the governor of the state. Uh, and Franklin Pierce kind of inherited bouts of depression and alcoholism from his mother, uh, Anna Kendrick Pierce. She was uh, a bit depressed and an alcoholic, so uh, interesting stuff there. Um, Pierce, he actually only practiced law for two years before he became a New Hampshire legislator, uh, and he became a U.S. representative at the age of only 27 before becoming a senator for New Hampshire. Uh, Pierce was strongly against the North American 19th century black activist movement during his time as a legislator. So um, even though he was not really for slavery and he was against the Civil War, he kind of had some very interesting, weird takes on, uh, you know, black uh, rights and that sort of thing. So interesting stuff that we're definitely going to get into. Um so what I'm going to show you here, uh, this is actually uh, where Pierce, uh, I think that, yeah, is this where Pierce was born? Let me see, uh, just to make sure here. Um, because what I'm doing is I'm, I'm taking a trip up to uh, New Hampshire to show you guys all this stuff. Hillsboro, of course, is where he was born. Um, and yes, this is actually... Uh, this is the, the, the site of where he was born. Um, so there you go. So I'm going to show you that now. Here's some pictures and videos of that. Uh, this is the homestead, the Franklin Pierce homestead up there in, uh, Hillsboro, uh, New Hampshire. So take a look, enjoy, and we'll be right back after that. Hey guys, TJ with Dead History. Right there behind me, that's, uh, hold on, this car going. That is the Franklin Pierce Homestead. I'm gonna flip you guys around. So, this is the uh, Franklin Pierce Homestead. Obviously it's closed, but this is where Franklin Pierce was born and lived. Um, there was a log cabin on this property at one point and that's where he was born. And this is in Hillsboro, New Hampshire. Sorry, it's a little dark. It's uh getting to be uh, dusk out here so it's uh you know it's almost uh getting to be that time of night here in the winter so let's see here just so i can show you guys a little there you go pierce homestead was built in 1804 by benjamin pierce general in the american revolution governor father of franklin pierce franklin pierce was born in hillsboro november 23rd of 1804 04 and the family occupied this dwelling shortly thereafter. So the cabin that he was born at is definitely close by and I'm pretty sure that it was actually like right on this property from what I read. Uh, it doesn't stand anymore obviously the log cabin but it was somewhere close by. So there you go. The Franklin Pierce Homestead in Hillsboro, New Hampshire. Thanks guys. Well, there you go. That's the uh, Franklin Pierce Homestead up there in Hillsboro, New Hampshire. The Granite State, as it's known. Um, pretty nice place. Uh, so what we're going to do, we're going to end this video here, part one of our Franklin Pierce video. And we're going to get into, uh, in part two, we're going to show you uh, the, well, it's actually the house that he died at is no longer standing. But we're going to show you uh, the marker, basically where the house stood. Uh, we're going to show you his gravesite, of course, there in New Hampshire. Uh, and we are going to show you the location of where his son, Benjamin Pierce, or Benny Pierce, I should say, where he died tragically in a train accident in Andover, Massachusetts. So I'm going to show you that location in part two. So uh, stay tuned. It's going to be pretty interesting. Um, but that's it. Of course, hit subscribe. Leave your uh, comments and questions below. Right, Henry? Yep. Leave us some likes. Uh, we're very, very happy with the way the channel is growing. We appreciate it. And uh, we appreciate all the support. So uh, stay tuned for part two. I hope you enjoyed part one. Uh, look at our 14th president, Franklin Pierce. Stay tuned for part two, right? Yep. All right, bye, guys. Bye.